gonna have any lace in the front whatsoever. Ooh, let me not show you guys that. <laughs>
it's me Tima and I'm back with a new video and I wanted to come back here with a new look for today. So I really transformed this wig because it was cool, but like I think it's one of those wigs that you have to kind of just work with, especially if you want the bangs to be a lot thinner. Whenever you do buy a wig that has really thick bangs, literally overnight it just clip the bangs back at least half of them upwards this way get some bobby pins and just like pin them back. Like even if I take this off, it looks like everything is kind of just laying down really flat. I braided the hair last night. This is actually a human hair wig, by the way, so you can't put heat to it. I tried putting heat to it yesterday and it worked. I just didn't like the style that I did it in, but I just wanted to make it easier on myself and just braid the hair um, overnight. I got this like little nice like beachy wave crimped look, I guess. I thought it would look perfect for this ethereal look. So I got this wig from Nadula Hair. They sent me, um, I guess it's like a fashion wig. They sent me an elastic band, which I did not have to use for this. I'm not really gonna wear this wig out that much. It's mostly gonna be for pictures for Instagram because I love the color. It's like a nice auburn reddish orange color and it's just, Perfect. I wish it was curly, honestly, I would love it. But I mean, I did my own little texture to it, I guess. So it kind of looks pretty good. Hair is really, really soft. I just went in and I wet the hair and I just braided it and it's taking the braid out really nicely, I think. I think it looks really good. I'm gonna put this behind my ear kind of and then also just like the front two little bang pieces right here. By the way, there is no lace. So if you're gonna wear this, you're not gonna have any lace in the front whatsoever. <gasps> Ooh, let me not show you guys that. But yeah, I really like how the bangs are looking. I wanted to go for the whole Sailor Moon type of vibe, which I did in my like 80s anime tutorial before. I think that looks really cute that way. I think it looks really good in pictures, which is why I did this in the first place, because I wanted it for Instagram, and I've been really wanting a nice orangey like reddish color wig. So that's why I went with it. I'm gonna give you guys the details as far as the pricing on this unit. Let me just look really quickly because I don't think it was honestly that expensive. This was initially in a 20 inch. It's probably a 16 inch now because I cut off a lot of inches because I wanted to kind of match it with like whatever I was doing for the braid out. Um, so whenever I braided it, I just cut the ends that were straight and just like left it like this. But the price of this um, for this 20 inch unit for the orangey, uh, auburn color, it's going to be, I don't know actually the hair type that it is, so I have no clue, but it's really, really silky and straight. Price is going to be 137 and 18 cents. So it's not that bad. I think it's a really good price, but you just will not be getting a lace front. Just know that like the bangs, you're probably gonna have to kind of trim them a bit cause they're kind of just like longer in the front, which is not bad. I think it looks more orange in the sunlight. I took pictures for Instagram and this is how they ended up turning out. This is how they turned out cool the hair is actually very thick i think it feels like 180 percent density so you're getting a lot of hair with this as well you have to work with the bangs you do get the hang of the bangs it can look really cute um i want to find a bandana to wear with this unit because i think that would look adorable for a picture but i'm gonna wait on that for a second because i want to have like a whole outfit going on with this in the future and i might even cut this Short or should I? No, I'll leave it long. What I want to do is recreate this with like a really curly wig that I get from a company. I'm gonna like dye it myself. I'm going to bleach it and all that stuff and just use like an orange hair dye. I saw someone on Instagram with that look and I just got inspired. So I really want to do that. And I think that Chin, the kid just did the same type of look as well. And I was like, okay, I really, I'm inspired. I'm definitely gonna try that look out really soon. I did this like two years ago and I sold the wig and it was so freaking cute and I just got rid of it. So I want to do that. I wish it had lace to it, but if you get any wig with bangs, usually there is no lace. They don't just cut the bangs for you. Let me know what you guys think down below about this unit from Nadula Hair. There's no shedding whatsoever, but the hair is very silky. I wish it had a little bit more texture, but I think it's just the hair type that I got from the company. So I'm not really sure. So it really depends on your preference and what you want. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this about this unit. Oh yeah, I think it also looks the best with different accessories and stuff that you can just kind of put around it. Uh, yeah, okay, I think that's it for this hair review. Um, go ahead and check out the link to Nadula hair down below. I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna go take some intro shots right now and I will see you in the next one. Bye.